China just built a single port that handles more cargo than every American port combined. You heard that right. Los Angeles, New York, Houston, Seattle, add them all together and they still don't match what this one facility moves in a year. And here's the part that should terrify you. There's not a single human operating the docks. It's run entirely by artificial intelligence, moving millions of containers with zero mistakes, zero delays, and zero workers on the ground. But to understand why this changes everything, you need to see what's actually happening inside. The port is called Yangshan, and when you look at the numbers, they don't make sense. This single facility processes over 47 million containers every single year. To put that in perspective, the busiest port in America, Los Angeles, handles around 9 million. Long Beach, 8 million. New York and New Jersey combined, 7 million. You could take the top 10 American ports, add up everything they move, and Yangshan would still be bigger. The physical scale is just as insane. This port stretches across 13 square miles of artificial islands built from nothing. It has 130 automated berths where ships dock. The storage yards hold stacks of containers that stretch for miles. If you stood at one end, you couldn't see the other side. Traditional ports struggle to handle this volume, with thousands of workers, hundreds of trucks, and constant bottlenecks. Experts said a facility this size couldn't function efficiently. The logistics alone would collapse under their own weight. But China didn't build a traditional port. Every single operation at Yangshan is controlled by one central artificial intelligence system. And when I say every operation, I mean everything. The moment a ship arrives, the AI has already calculated the optimal unloading sequence. It knows which containers need to come off first, where each one needs to be stored, and which truck will carry it away. It's processing millions of variables simultaneously, making decisions faster than any human team ever could. Here's where it gets crazy. The cranes moving those containers? Controlled by AI. The trucks transporting them across the port? Autonomous. The stacking systems organizing thousands of containers in the storage yards? All AI. There are zero human operators on the dock floor. None. What you see instead is a perfectly choreographed dance of machines, all communicating through a 5G network that covers every inch of the facility. The nerve center of this entire operation is a control room where technicians monitor screens, but they're not giving orders. They're just watching the AI work. The system uses machine learning to optimize every movement. It knows the exact weight and dimensions of each container. It calculates the most efficient stacking patterns to minimize retrieval time. It predicts when equipment will need maintenance before anything breaks down. And it does all of this 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, without ever getting tired. But the AI is only half the story. Thousands of automated guided vehicles swarm across Yangshan's docks like a mechanical army. These aren't regular trucks with drivers. They're autonomous robots, each one moving independently, yet perfectly synchronized with every other machine in the port. They navigate themselves, avoid obstacles, and transport containers with precision down to the centimeter. And they never stop. While one AGV charges its battery, 50 others keep working. Then there are the cranes, these aren't the clunky machines you see at old ports, where operators sit in cabs hundreds of feet in the air, slowly positioning containers by hand. Yangshan's cranes are intelligent. They lock onto containers with millimeter accuracy, lift them at optimal speeds, and place them exactly where the AI determined they should go. Each crane can handle 40 containers per hour. Multiply that by hundreds of cranes operating simultaneously, and you start to understand the throughput. But here's what makes this truly revolutionary. The entire port is integrated. The cranes talk to the AGVs. The AGVs talk to the automated rail systems that run directly through the facility. The rail systems talk back to the AI. Every piece of equipment knows what every other piece is doing. When a ship docks, the system has already positioned AGVs at the precise moment containers will be ready. There's no waiting, no confusion. No human error slowing things down. The construction itself was an engineering nightmare. China built these islands from scratch, dredging up millions of tons of seafloor and compacting it into stable ground. They erected massive cranes, laid miles of track, 
and installed a network infrastructure that would make most cities jealous. And they did it in less time than it takes America to approve permits for a new highway. Then came the most devastating part. A container ship arrives at Yangshan. The AI identifies it before it even docks. Within 18 hours, every single container is unloaded, sorted, and either loaded onto trucks, trains, or stacked in the yard. 18 hours. At a traditional American port, that same ship would sit for three to five days, sometimes a week if there's congestion. You're looking at efficiency that's not just better, it's operating on a completely different level. The cost per container tells you everything you need to know. Yangshan processes each one for a fraction of what American ports charge. No labor costs for dock workers. No overtime. No union negotiations. No shifts that end when humans get tired. The robots work through hurricanes, through midnight, through holidays. The only limit is how fast ships can physically arrive. And here's what nobody talks about. This affects every single product you buy. Shipping costs determine prices. When one port can move cargo this much faster and cheaper, every shipping company on Earth reroutes through it. Yangshan isn't just handling Chinese exports anymore. It's becoming the hub for global trade. Ships from Europe, Africa, Southeast Asia, they're all stopping here because the math is undeniable. The environmental impact is almost accidental. The AI optimizes every movement so precisely that fuel consumption dropped by 40% compared to traditional ports. Emissions fell. Energy waste disappeared. Not because China was trying to be green, but because efficiency and sustainability turned out to be the same thing. But none of this compares to what it really means. This isn't just about moving boxes faster. Yangshan proved something every country told itself was impossible. You can't automate an entire port, they said. The technology isn't ready. The systems are too complex. Human judgment is irreplaceable. China looked at those assumptions and built a facility that handles more cargo than the entire American port system combined with almost zero humans involved. Every shipping executive on the planet watched this happen. And now they're all asking the same question. Why are we still running ports the old way? Traditional facilities with thousands of workers, outdated equipment, and manual processes suddenly look like relics. The efficiency gap isn't small. It's a chasm. And once you see what's possible, you can't unsee it. Here's the part that should keep you up at night. Yangshan isn't even operating at full capacity yet. The system can scale infinitely. Add more AGVs, more cranes, more berths. The AI adapts instantly. There's no training period. No learning curve. You just plug in new equipment and the system incorporates it. China built a port that can grow as large as global trade demands, limited only by how much artificial island they're willing to construct. And they're already building more. Three new automated ports are under construction right now, each one using lessons learned from Yangshan, each one bigger than the last. While other countries debate whether automation is feasible, China is scaling it to levels that will define the next century of global commerce. Yangshan wasn't built just to move cargo. It was built to control it. China understood something the rest of the world missed. Whoever controls the ports controls global trade. And if you can build a port so efficient that every shipping company on earth has to use it, you don't just participate in the global economy, you dictate its terms. This is where it gets strategic. China's been connecting Yangshan to something called the Belt and Road Initiative. It's a network of trade routes spanning 70 countries across Asia, Europe, and Africa. Railways, highways, and shipping lanes, all designed to flow through Chinese infrastructure. And at the center of it all, ports like Yangshan. Every container moving through this AI-controlled facility isn't just cargo, it's leverage. It's data on what the world is buying, selling, and shipping. It's relationships with every major corporation that needs their products moved fast. But here's the brilliant part. China's not just building these automated ports at home. They're exporting the technology. Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Greece. Chinese companies are constructing AI-run ports in strategic locations around the world. They're offering the same efficiency, the same speed, the same cost savings. And every country that says yes becomes another node in a network China controls. The shipping routes reorganize themselves. 
The global supply chain starts flowing through Chinese infrastructure by default. Western ports are watching this happen in real time, and they can't compete. American facilities are still dealing with labor disputes, aging equipment, and bureaucratic red tape that takes years to navigate. By the time they approve funding for upgrades, China's already built three more automated ports and connected them to intercontinental rail networks. The gap isn't closing, it's widening.